today I'm going to work on finishing up the insulation. So um, I just kind of wanted to go do a breakdown of what we've done so far in the van. So when we got the van in the it was just a it was just white, just a cargo van with the like black panelings on here. Just stripped that down, took that off. Um, first thing that we did was put some of the Dino Seal. It's an eco-friendly product. Um, you can see it just like a little bit of a drift right here, but we did the floor with that. We did about five or six coats of that on the floor and in this whale here as well. Before we put in the um, styrofoam insulation in the grooves on the floor, we put those in and then we did another couple coats of the Dino Seal um, stuff because we wanted to waterproof the whole bottom of the van before we started doing our subfloor. And then on top of that, then, uh, the insulation and the Dino Seal, we put down a layer of cork, quarter inch cork, um, to give us some somewhat of an insulation, um, not a whole lot of artifactor in the cork. Um, but wanted to have a little bit of padding between the insulation, the metal, and the subfloor, the plywood that we did. And we went ahead and used uh, apple ply plywood. It doesn't have any added uh, chemicals or anything like that in there, so that's why we chose to use this because we didn't want any VOCs or anything off gassing in the van. And then we used these uh, little guys here. We can explain again in another video. Basically, we drilled a hole through the floor, um, we, you pound these into the wood, and then you drill up through the bottom of the van, and boy, that was an experience. Um, did a little too many holes, but it actually worked out pretty good because the extra holes we ended up drilling were back here by the wheel well, which is probably going to get most of the vibration in the van. Um, so we did that, and then Joey's been working on doing our sink, our countertop, and our, our kitchen area here, and retroing the, the drain that we're going to use as well, too. And then we've got our bathtub mounted in there. We had this custom built. Um, the frame for the bathtub. We used just a uh, granite sink. Um, it's pretty durable to stand in there. Um, we wanted something that wasn't going to be rattling around and squeaking and um, that sort of stuff. So we went with that granite sink. We had this custom made, this stainless steel frame, and then bolted that down into the van so it's really sturdy. Um, it's a good frame for our sink to sit on as well, too. And then you can see that we've done quite a bit of dino seal or dynamat or not dino seal, but noico. The polybutylene is for the sound deadening. So we basically wrapped the whole entire van in it. Um, as you can see, everything's pretty much silver. Um, we did as much as we could. And uh, then, now I'm going to start using, um, trying to get rid of some of these huge bags of insulation that we've had sitting in our garage for the last month and a half. So hopefully I uh, want to get rid of this stuff tonight. we got the R13. It's the Havelock wool. We went with wool. Because um, there's no it, no uh, chemicals or anything in here. Again, if we're going to be staying in this airtight, we don't want any VOCs. We wanted to do as little chemicals as possible. You can install this stuff without using a mask. It's non-toxic. It's treated with uh, borax. That's the only thing that's treated with, I think, um, just to prevent any mites or anything that might have been thrown on the sheet before it was cut. Um, and the nice thing about wool too is it will absorb like I think 50 of like 50 percent of its weight and then it can dry back out so it won't collapse like denim will uh, when it gets wet and there's moisture in there um, and then on top of the wool we're doing just a thin layer of that reflective um, insulation and then as you can see we're starting to frame out the um, for the paneling put in our frame for our bed and then we've also installed two motion windows nice windows but man they're a lot of work to install so if you're live anywhere by Vancouver, Washington, just dr drive there and have them install it. They do that every day and it's like $100, so it's totally worth them doing that. So that's kind of just an update on what we've done. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get rid of the rest of this installation done tonight and I'll give you guys an update on what, we've done, what else we've done. Thanks for watching. Bye.